Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Diana, a girl in Africa. I'm back on track with a lot of exciting things. Today I will be talking about the Contour Perfection Kit from Clarence, how to use it and how to get the best of it. I have seen so many makeup tutorials where they put lines here, 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 but actually they don't explain what's for or why. These tutorials made me feel actually very skeptical about contouring because for me it's so confusing when they put all these lines, they blend and they look totally, totally different. And I'm sure that you also feel the same. So I did some research and learned how to use contouring and how to apply it on your skin and don't end up looking like a totally different person. But before you start, I just want to be clear about this tutorial. If you are expecting to learn how to do makeup and to look like you just had a plastic surgery, this video is not for you. If you want to learn some makeup tips, and how to enhance certain features of your face and how to hide some other subtly, this is the video for you. All right, so let's start with the concealer and the compact foundation. Okay, now with the concealer and the foundation on, we are going to the exciting part. We are going to use the palette contour visage. This is how it looks. And let's open it and take what is inside. This is how it looks. It comes with three colors. And also what I like is that it comes with the instructions. But don't panic, I'm gonna give you some other extra tips. If you really want to do contouring properly, first of all, you need to know what kind of shape is your face. For example, mine is oval. There are also different types of shapes. Round, square, inverted diamond. You first need to know what kind of shape do you have, and then, according with that, you can do the contouring to enhance or to reduce certain things that you don't want people to focus on. Let's go by steps. So this is the palette. It has three colors. What I like about this palette is that it only has three colors, which is the basic thing that we need for contouring, because I have seen other palettes that comes with 13 colors, and for me that's so confusing. So let me explain you each of them and how to use it. The shade one, the highlighter, which is used to draw attention to the areas you want to focus on. Number two, the darker shade, which is used to minimize the areas that you want to reduce the appearance of. And the shade number three is the blush, which we use to add warm and depth in the areas that we apply it on. If you have a big French, which is not my case, but if you have a wide, big French, then which one you use? the dark shade, the dark shade, sorry, the dark shade and you apply it in this part to minimize the attention in this area. If you have a wide nose, which is a little bit my case, so then we use again the shade number two and we apply two lines on the side, which I'm gonna do later. If you have a very, very round face and you want, it to, you want that your face look a little bit sharper, we use again the shade number two and we apply it in this area to create that effect. If you have big cheeks but you don't have cheekbones, again, we use number two and we draw a line here. So you can use two, two different methods like Oh, and then you draw a line here and then you blend it later but we're also gonna do that later if you have a small fringe and you want it that look bigger or you want to enhance attention in this part then we use the shade number one and we apply it here and also here to draw attention in the eyebrows if you want your nose or especially this little bone to look a little bit flatter 
we use also shade number one and we apply it here to also make that effect. If you want to enhance the mouth on your smile, we also use shade number one and we apply it here and here. Let's start now applying uh, the contour kit on my face. I'm gonna explain what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm gonna apply the, the shade, the white shades in this part. Nose, mouth here, on top of the lips, on my chin, and then here in my fringe. And also a little bit here in the eyes, in the eyelid as well, and here. Okay? So that will help my eyes to look bigger and brighter. Then I'm gonna apply the darker shade on the sides of my nose, here and here. And then I also wanna apply it here to enhance the cheekbones and also a little bit here on the sides because I want my face to look a little bit sharper. To finish, I will apply the blush on my cheeks and then I will finish the contouring. Let's start! You see now can you see that my nose looks a little bit thinner that I enhance my cheekbones and I also enhance here a little bit so there is some of depth here this kit also comes with three eyeshadows called hombre in Spanish hombre means man <laughs> so I love the name hombre and then it comes silver gray silver white and silver rose as today we are doing a very natural makeup we're gonna use the silver rose and we are gonna apply it with my favorite 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 brush which is my fair finger what i'm going to do is i'm gonna apply it in my eyelid and then to create a very very nice cool effect i'm gonna apply at the end here the silver uh, gray color also part of the kit the four colors all in one pen I really really love it look how cute it is this reminds me a pen that I had in the school that I used to use for writing the notes in the notebook 
and also highlighting some of the titles. Do you remember? I used to have one of these. And here are the little um, pictures saying which color is for eyes and which colors are for lips. I am having so much fun with this and actually I don't follow, I'm not following this because I'm using all colors for everything. I'm using even the, the blue for the lips because it's a new trend that I'll be talking about it in another video, but also I'm using the brown for lips, the blue for eyes and lips, the darker brown for even also for lips, and the black one only for eyes, not for lips, unless I'm having a makeup for Halloween or something like that. And we can also use it for the eyebrows. The, it depends on the color of your eyebrows. In my case, I will use the darker brown, so let's start using it. I am going to use the black one to create a little bit of depth in my eyes. Even if this makeup is very natural, I'm just gonna do it subtly. And now I'm gonna use the lighter brown to uh, make a line around my lips, but I also gonna paint my lips with this. This is another tip. If you want your lipstick last longer, paint it with your lip liner. Let's see. Can you see my lips now? I'm not using any lipstick. I just use the pen, this pen, and I paint it all over. As a final touch for my lips, I'm using Kiss. This is my favorite product for lips right now. It's a, this is a very nice uh, balm and energizer for your lips. And final touch, the eyelashes with Wonder Perfect Mascara. I really love it because my eyelashes look so big and so beautiful. So now you can see how my face look after the contouring. I'm the same person, I'm not a different woman, but I just enhance my cheekbones, I just reduced a little bit the size of my nose, and I also just made sharper my face here, down in my jaw. Hope you like this video and you learn a lot. Remember, first thing before using contouring is to know what kind of shape do you have, and then taking from there, you can start playing and having so much fun and with this palette, with this pencil and with the ombre shades. Also, another tip, if you feel scared about using this, you always can use it, but then you can blend with a normal brush. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Diana, again in Africa. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.